Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change your stake view in microsurveys field genius. So I recently had a customer who was asking how they could get a real time report of their distance from the point. And what we figured the best solution was, was to change their stake view. So I'm just going to show you how to do that here. So what I've done is I've got a single point that I've laid out in Carlson here, and I've got my simulator hooked up, and I'm going to try to stake to that point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my point two here, and then I'm going to hit the stake button in the bottom left there. It's going to bring up my point staking menu, and I'm just going to choose point two for this video. Obviously, you could choose any point you wanted from within this menu here, but I'm going to hit stake point. And you can see here that I now have a northing, easting, and elevation through which I need to go to get to my point. But let's say I don't want to see this view. Maybe I want something a bit different. So I'm going to hit in the bottom left corner there, the kind of the grid picture there. And what it's going to bring up is my select staking method. And you can see here there are three different options. There's my grid option, my compass option, and my map option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose compass from this menu. And you can see here I now have a live updating compass giving me my heading and my distance to point. So I can just follow the heading off my compass there and use my distance to get to my point. And my other option, again, if I click in the bottom left corner and open up my select staking method menu is to use my map option. And you can see here that I now have a line bringing me into the point. So I can follow that line in to get exactly to where my point is. And when I get really close into that point, it will collapse in and my northeast and cut to in the top left of the corner will take up the entire screen and guide me into those final couple centimeters or a couple inches into my point. And to switch back to any of the menus that I was previously in, I just need to hit the globe there in the bottom left corner, and that's going to bring me back to my select staking method option, and I can set it back to grid here. And that is everything for today's video, and if you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps us keep making these videos for you guys. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or anything on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.